part four of using a Bell South 100 incubator for hatching eggs. Now we've talked about getting the temperature right, getting the humidity right, we've given you some preliminary warnings about the hatch time, making sure you don't open the incubator during hatch. One of the things sometimes you'll see at hatch is, uh, is the chicks can be quite wet in the incubator. Make a mental note, if the chicks are very wet in the incubator at hatch time, it probably indicates it's still just a little bit too wet in the egg, maybe you need the next size down of water channel. Our chicks have all hatched out, uh, and we think that uh, we've got to the stage where, where there isn't any more going to hatch, or at least it's so crowded in there we think we have to lighten the eggs off. Let's take the chicks out. I like to tell people that before they take the chicks out, they should have had turn on their brooding lamp about a half an hour earlier so that the uh, incubator room is, the incubator location is nice and warm. We take the chicks out of the incubator and place them under our brooder. But I tell people that I also like them to come straight back to the incubator to wash it out. You see people tend to go, oh look at all these lovely chicks, I'll just have a poke and just have a little look-see and uh, oh gee isn't this really lovely, I'll pick up this little chick. And in doing so they disturb the chicks and the chicks don't settle very well. But also the incubator tends to be forgotten back there. Place the chicks in the brooder, come back, wash out the incubator. So how do you wash the incubator? Very simply the best way is with a sponge and uh, some ordinary dishwashing detergent lots of froth and bubble and you'll find that the incubator will come quite clean uh, a little rinse off afterwards sometimes people like to put a drop or two of white king in the water of the incubator just to provide an extra sterilizing effect uh, uh, during the incubation there is nothing wrong with having a drop of white king in the water uh, during the incubation with the eggs in there okay so that's all that's needed you may decide that well i'm not going to use the incubator for a while put it out and let it, leave it out in the sun for a little while so that the sunshine does its sterilizing job pack your machine up nice and dry when you put it away if you're not planning to use it again the worst thing you can do for an incubator is pack it up either wet or wet with uh, uh, shell remains and uh, chick remains from hatching inside the incubator that guarantees the incubator won't last very long and won't be very successful for you thanks very much we'll show you in the next part um, some ways of uh, changing your Bell South 100, different things you can do with it. Thank you.